Massive mandate that Johnson had secured in 2019 now stands undermined, though the party's revival would depend on who succeeds him. This continuing saga in British politics has a strong Indian origin imprint, with Rishi Sunak, the former Chancellor of Exchequer, who was very much part of this rebellion against Boris Johnson, emerging as a possible front-runner. Should he be chosen to be the Prime Minister, he would create history as the first Indian and Asian to occupy the post. Tables have turned in the 21st century indeed. So who really is Rishi Sunak? In 2014, he was chosen as a conservative candidate from Richmond. Uh, in 2015, he was elected to House of Commons in parliamentary polls. In Feb 2020, Sunak was appointed the Chancellor of Exchequer. On the 5th of July, the 42-year-old tendered his resignation. Betting is legal in the United Kingdom. And the odds appear to be stacked slightly in favor of Penny Moda, the Minister for Trade Policy, though Sunak is not far behind. Announcement and of course it is a civil war, if I may say so, within the Tory party uh, that is expected. But one important aspect of the British political uh, system here are the uh, betting companies who periodically uh, place the odds of uh, who the next candidate will be. And we have with us Sam from Betfair, as you can uh, see. Sam, can you tell us a bit more about what is this business about and what are the chances of Rishi Sunak? Yeah, absolutely. So everybody's asking now who is going to be the next Conservative leader. Everybody wants to know. And everybody has their fancy. Everybody has their pick. So we provide the platform for people to uh, to have a bet and have their say on who they think could be the next Conservative leader. There's been a lot of interest in this market, as you can expect, following the resignation of the Prime Minister. And currently it is Ben Wallace who leads the way as favourite. Right. What about Rishi Sunak? I see he is at number two. Yeah. And what does this five stroke one mean? If you could tell our viewers a bit more about that. Yeah, so currently Rishi Sunak is second favourite at five to one. That means for every £10 he plays, you get uh, uh, £50 back. So he's not quite the favourite. Ben Wallace is in there at 11 to 4, which means if he plays £10, you get £37.50 back. So as you can see, the odds are slightly shorter for Ben Wallace, but that's not to say that Rishi hasn't been a popular choice. Looking at the Betfair exchange market, around 25% of the money placed on the market has been for Rishi Sunak, so he has been a popular choice of punters. Right, so Rishi Sunak continues to be a popular candidate. Ben Wallace is the Defence Secretary who is right up there, but uh, these are just uh, data that is collected and they keep on changing. That's one key thing to remember, isn't it, Sam? Absolutely, as punters make their choice and place their bets, depending on um, on who they're betting and how popular they are, the odds will change. And with this market, as more candidates announce and put their hat into the ring that they're going to be taking place in the Conservative leader race, then those odds, I'm certain, will change some more. Right, so a lot of action still uh, to expect, but this is one, uh, one aspect of British politics which is always, uh, which remains evergreen and which has now come under increased focus following Boris Johnson's uh, resignation. Back to you. Sonak does face a tough test, but uh, rest assured, all of us back home here will be wishing for him to win this race to the post of PM of UK. With that, we take a very quick break. Do come back for all the other news updates.